out here today in uh, Webster, Texas. There's a nice little, uh, there's Clear Creek right here and there's a pond or a lake right there. And there's a little dam I'm standing on and there's pipes underneath so these fish are gonna feed through. And I gotta show you this right now. There is bait going crazy right over there. Look at that. Uh, I don't, I'm looking at the camera right now. It doesn't look like it's picking it up that well. But it's crazy, okay? Let's set this back down. It is. It looks magnificent. <laughs> Going into my uh, dictionary right there. Gotta set the camera back up. Sorry, guys. I apologize. But, um, anyway. I'm gonna cast in that. I saw a boat here. No idea how long the boat was here. Hopefully they left because it's getting dark and not because they weren't catching anything, but... It looks like there's some eating it, trying to eat it. And it hasn't rained in a while, so I don't know just how uh, salty or how fresh this is, because we're pretty close to Clear, Clear Lake, which is a saltwater body. And, uh, But I think I can say for certain now that this rod sucks. I don't even know. I did that twice in the last video. Be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know if I look a little roughed up, but I just ran pretty fast. As you saw from the beginning of the video, there's, alligator, there's alligators here, so I just ran through like some swamp. And I'm about to tie on something else because all this thing ever does is break, break, break lures off. No expletives today, folks. I'll be right back. I guess I just uh, I tied on this husky jerk or a Berkeley cutter, and I left with a uh, horrendous line tag. So hopefully they're not done fly out. If that's what it is. I'm gonna do some light casts. I got hit. I might have hit something, you know? Look how many fish are out there. Looks like mullet. What's mullet. Mullet? Yeah. Okay. I mean, mullet, mullet go all the way up into Clear Creek, too, so that one is good. They're getting chased by some stuff over there. Got one. Ah! It was a big gar, dude. It was a big gar. Oh. Wow. I was about to say out loud, I can't tell what difference between getting nailed and just uh, hitting something. It was a big gar. Dang. Wow. Ah, that sucked. <laughs> This rod moves a lot. Let me fix this really quick. There we go. Ooh, this rod moves a lot. We're back on the other side. I think I'm about to risk it all. cast on what looks like could be a, a gar or a big stick or something like that.
big stick. Looks like they're hitting them. We'll see what Sam walks out here with. That was almost bad. I almost caught that bush right behind me. Daddy, bro. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Oh yeah, baby. That is Let's a nice bass. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That is a fat bass right That's there. Awesome, That's awesome. That's where I get to walk up to. <laughs> John just caught this. Nice, fat, fast. Right as I walked up, show the camera that baby. Awesome. Look at that that is right there. that is beautiful. Hell yeah, nice job. All right, guys, I just uh, switched with John and put on the POV. I'm running the uh, Berkeley cutter, and John's still using the same thing that that crawfish rattle trap. I mean, dang it. Dang it. a lot of mullet in here for a freshwater lake you know i mean it's it is brackish but we're so close to clear lake right now guys we're uh right on clear creek right right near the mouth where it goes to clear lake which is a saltwater body so usually during the summer in bodies of water like this or just in clear creek in general there's redfish maybe even some trout i i've seen uh really far inwards like near league city I've got uh, a couple years back, 
I was fishing and saw a, uh, dr a black drum because they go up like the big ones sometimes they'll swim up there just to die and he looked like he was ready to die. It was, he was in a couple inches of water like definitely less than a foot and he was probably it, it looked massive it had to be like a like it was probably like a 45 inch black drum no, no fib and I was gonna say 50 but more of a reason reasonable estimate is 45 it was the biggest black drum I'd ever seen in my entire life still to this day and he was he was an absolute behemoth and just seeing that in fresh water like it was completely un unexpected I came around this line of trees and was fishing this old dock and right as I walk up just massive it's unreal I've never seen anything like that before even so seen some colossal blow-ups over there but there's really nowhere else we're able to fish over here but he hit me like right where you just were yeah, yeah. I'm in the secret spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, hit it again. Yeah. yeah. This case is waterproof, right? I have nothing not waterproof in my pocket. Look at that alligator. <sighs> See, guys, right there is a big alligator chilling in the water. That is horrible. I don't, yeah, that's not, I don't know. <laughs> if he moves towards us, I'm gonna go up. Yeah, we're probably gonna leave. That happens, dude. He is moving towards us. <laughs> I'm sitting here. <laughs> him with that buddy again, dude. Holy crap. Look at that guy. He's a big alligator. Uh, I don't I'm even gonna know put a rod at him. Yeah. yeah. It's probably too far out. No, nah, you can see him. I think just a little bit. There's a little bit. Yeah, he is. Just keep fishing. Just keep fishing. Should catch him. <laughs> no, that's a big ass alligator. <laughs> yeah, it is. There's mullet jumping right by his face. One just jumped over his head. Got one? Yeah, there's one sitting in there. He's been hitting me. Coming down. <laughs> hey, at least it's cleaning out this reel. Finally. Oh, come on, hit it. Hit it. We gotta watch Homeboy over there. Homeboy's Yeah, he's starting to look at that bank. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. If he goes underwater, that's a great sketch. If he goes underwater, I'm leaving.
Thank you.